Hi everyone, this is Ben Conley, and today I'm gonna to give you a bit of a mechanical breakdown of how this beautiful backlighting shot on the screen was actually created. At first glance, you'll see there's a few aspects of this particular photo to take into consideration. Firstly, we have the beautiful fairy lights that were actually situated behind the couple, and we have a very deliberate backlighting situation. Our first slide shows us the position of the bride and groom, as well as the position of the flash, the camera, and my LED constant light. This next slide shows you the distances of the flash, the LED constant light, and my camera from the bride and groom. You may have noticed in the previous slides that the couple aren't actually standing parallel to the camera and we've actually got the groom slightly in front of the bride. Now there's a very good reason for this which I'll share with you very shortly. Our next slide shows the scene from a side perspective. You'll see a black line that runs diagonally through the frame and this is actually the driveway that the couple were standing on. In positioning the couple I wanted to get as much of the fairy lights in the background as I possibly could. So what I did was I moved the couple as far forward as I possibly could just to where the fairy light started, knowing that the slope of the driveway would allow the fairy lights to disappear into the background. The next important aspect of this slide is the height positioning of both the camera and the flash. Because I wanted to get as much of the fairy lights in the back of the frame as I could, I needed to position the camera quite low to the ground. The next important element is flash position. So if you want to shoot a backlit photo with a couple, for example, what you would want to do is position your flash behind the couple and you want to set the height to about the groom's head height or the male's head height. Then with the distance behind the couple, if you've got a groom that's about six foot, then you'd put the flash about six foot behind the couple. And now for the tricky part. This particular slide shows you the direction of light from both my flash and my LED constant light. Previously I'd told you that we'd moved the groom slightly in front of the bride and here's the reason why. In positioning both the bride and groom, what I've done is moved him slightly forward, then I've told them both to look at each other. If you follow the red arrows, you can see that the light comes from the flash, it hits the groom and then bounces across over to the bride. What this effectively does is it short lights the bride or creates a short side of the face. What this particular lighting is, is where we illuminate the side of the face that's furthest away from the camera. Short lighting is great for both men and women because it gives a more chiseled three-dimensional look. Because the flash is placed behind the couple, we actually need to add some fill light to the front of the couple. In this case, I have my LED constant light lighting up the couple from the front. So in summing up, there's a few simple things to remember with backlit photos. If you're gonna photograph a couple, Put the flash behind the couple at about the man's head height. Next, gauge the man's height and then put the flash about that distance behind the couple. Then simply add a little bit of illumination at the front, get your camera settings right and show us your amazing photo. So when you post them on your Instagram page or Facebook, make sure you tag Ted's Cameras. Thanks very much for joining me. I hope you found this blog post helpful and I really look forward to seeing you in one of our in-store workshops.